good morning and welcome back to the Avid Umbrella. It was a great October where you were provided with lots of information on how to be your best self. You learned tips on how to build a high level of self-confidence and self-respect. You were given great information on how to prevent fires in your kitchen and also on the importance of having a safe, nurturing, and violence-free relationships. And last week, you gained knowledge of the importance of living healthy, happy, and drug-free. We hope the themes of each week in October encourage you all to advance via individual determination, and that when you are faced with situations that may not be in your best interest, that you will utilize all of the support team members in order to have a safe space to express yourself and how you are feeling, no matter what. Moving on to this week, the first Monday of each month with the Avid Umbrella message is about personal responsibility. This week, we're talking about democracy and responsible citizenship. As you know, this week in the United States, any citizen 18 years or older can and should cast their vote for the candidates and the policies that they believe to be in the best interests of our nation. That's right, friends, it's voting week. Democracy is a government that is run by the people. In a democratic nation like ours, we, the people, have the opportunity to voice our opinions by voting on important issues and by voting on who we think is best to lead our government. No matter the outcome of the elections, we can all be comfortable with the results as long as we practice responsible citizenship by participating and casting our votes. I know you're not old enough to vote yet, but you are most definitely old enough to have opinions and to start practicing actions that will help you to be a responsible citizen. I mean, what does it even mean though to be a responsible citizen? I did get some feedback from some of you. Matthew in the sixth grade with Mr. Cudahy said that a good and responsible citizen is a kind person who is respectful of others and the law. Seventh grade student Alexander told Ms. Cardi that a responsible citizen is respectful and caring for others. And Chris in the seventh grade also added that responsible citizens are trustworthy and never talk back. I gotta say, all good friends. A responsible citizen is someone who is active and supporting member of their community and country. To be a good and responsible citizen, it is important to practice the basic principles of citizenship. Today I will share some fundamental tips to help you become a great contributor to our big and small communities. You should be informed. That's easy for you because you are in the perfect place to research, study, and discuss the thought-provoking and relevant issues. Pay close attention in class and around your world for information on history and politics. Another tip to become an important citizen is be your best self. It is the good citizen that possesses the fundamental characteristics of goodness. Show the good stuff that you are made of. Honesty, kindness, compassion, responsibility, and courage. Be respectful. This is a big one and can mean so many things. At your age, it may just look like being respectful of your neighbors, their beliefs that may be different from yours, their property, their belongings. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Show empathy. Learn more about and gain an understanding of others. Develop compassion and kindness by learning about and identifying the differences and the commonalities between us about race, about religion, and culture. This world belongs to all of us. Be inspired. Go ahead, friends. I encourage you, be the change you want to see in this world. Now is the time for you to take responsibility and initiative in order to bring about change in our school, our community, or even worldwide. Last year, I was so impressed with our student council and their green initiative and the healthier food choice options. Get involved wherever and whenever you can. So during what is sure to be an interesting and important week in our nation, it is critical for you, the young people, to think about and practice actions that will help you to develop the knowledge, skills, and confidence that will positively impact our world. As a matter of fact, we're counting on it. That's it for this week, friends. And remember, the Avid Umbrella has got you covered.